Welcome to the Cybersecurity Minute. This week we're going to tackle the question of what is the best computer? Well, the best computer comes down to a lot of different things. Each computer is built up of processors, memory, hard drives, and other components. And so many people believe that we can figure out the best computer simply by looking at the specifications. Well, that may be true, but not always. So let's consider the processors. Let's take the Intel series of processors with the i5 and the i7 processors. Now, in general, i5 processors are dual core and they're going to be slower than an i7, which is a quad-core. But some of the i5 processors actually have quad-core processors, while some of the i7s are only dual-core processors. So sometimes the i5 is actually going to outperform the i7. Now, does that mean you simply look at the specs, figure out how many cores and what speed they are, and go, well, this is a quad-core 2.8 gigahertz uh, Intel i7 processor, so therefore it's faster? Well, that may be faster, but it's not necessarily best. So what really defines best when we're talking about a computer? Well, best is what's going to meet the needs of the consumer, and those needs are going to be met, hopefully, at the lowest possible cost. So, let's take an example. Both of my children have to, a need in school to have a computer. We have bought both of them Chromebooks. Now, Chromebooks are low-end and very inexpensive. They have very slow processors, but they have solid-state hard drives. Now, really what these things are made for is to get on the internet and do everything remotely and in the cloud. Now, this works great for them because they can get on and they can browse YouTube and they can go to Facebook and they can play games online and they can even get to G Suite, which gives them office documents like word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations. Now, all of that is in a laptop that costs $150 or $200. That works best for us because it's cheapest, it meets the needs, and the kids are happy. Now, let's consider my own laptop. I have a much more expensive laptop because I use a MacBook Pro. Now, I needed the extra processing power to be able to do video editing and all the other things that I do. So I have a high-end graphics card in there. I have a solid-state hard drive in there. I have an i7 processor with quad-core in there. So there's lots of different things, and that works best for me because it meets my needs as a consumer. So when we come down to what's the best computer, it really does come down to the features that it provides. Can it do the utility? Can it do what you want it to do and do it at a lower price? So what kind of computers are you guys using? What kind of things do you need to do? Are you just using web and word processing so you need something low end? Or are you going to be a big gamer where you need quad core processors with 16 gigs of memory and high end graphics cards and solid state drives to make things go faster? What is your need for a computer? These are the questions you need to ask your customers and yourself when you go and help them buy a computer so you can figure out what is best for them. Please leave a comment below and let me know what kind of system and what you're using it for. Let me know what's best for you. What do you think is the best computer out there? And then, if you have any questions for the Cybersecurity Minute, leave those in the comments below as well.